ya no continúe su vida. Pero bueno. Oh, yo voy a morir. Bueno,
Let us also offer our little sufferings to the Lord. Let's remember there are so many people around us who are suffering, especially this time. We ask for forgiveness from God for all our sins. God is loving and merciful. Let's also forgive people who have hurt us and pray for people we have hurt in any way and forgive ourselves too. And please forgive people, be at peace. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call us, to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we include our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions, we pray that this pandemic will end soon. And we pray that we will not be infected by the virus and that we come out better personal from this pandemic situation. O oh God, who with the folly of the cross wondrously taught Saint Justin the Martyr, the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession, that having rejected deception and error, we will become steadfast in the faith to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Tobit. On the night of Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tobit, went into my courtyard to sleep next to the courtyard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds, birds on the wall above me, till their warm droppings settled in my eyes, causing cataract. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with various subs, the worse the cataracts became. Until I could see no more, for four years, I was deprived of the eyesight, and all my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Ahigar, however, took care of me for two years until he left for enemies. At that time, my wife Anna worked for hire at weaving cloth the kind of work women do. When she sent back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in the winter on the seventh of distress, she finished the cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleed. I called my wife and said, where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to its owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. She said to me, it was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Yet, I would not believe her and told her to give it back to its owners. I became very angry with her over this. So she retorted, where are your charitable deeds now? 
Where are your virtuous acts? C. Your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm. Trusting in the Lord, his heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lovely he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our heart, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to explain him. In his speech, they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, that you're not concerned with anyone's opinion. You don't regard a person's status but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to send to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, why are you testing me? Bring a denarius to look at, for me to look at. They brought one to him and he said to them, whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. But Jesus said to them, You pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed. Dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, good evening, everyone. Thank you. Uh, how's the signal? Um, am I coming? Clear? Very clear, Father. For your internet. Yeah. Today it's about gospel about, you know, yung para kay Cesar, para sa Diyos. Mundo ba ang buhay mo? Mundo ba ang mundo mo? Or nandiyan ba ang Panginoon ang mundo mo? And you know why I ask this? Kasi many of us, you look at your life, please. Are you peaceful? Dalawa lang po yan eh. Peaceful bang buhay mo? And joyful bang buhay mo? It's your choice. Kasi po, as long as you're focused on the world, hindi po peaceful eh. Pero talaga kung ang focus mo ay si Lord, kahit ano pang problema dyan, peaceful ka eh. And joyful ka. So I'd like us all to examine again. Bakit hindi peaceful ang buhay mo? Parang hindi ka joyful. Saranghe, kamsahamida. You don't even smile. Masyado kang serious. Marami kang... Ah, yun siguro. Ano mga symptoms? Symptomatic yan. Hindi ka peaceful siguro kasi ikaw ay overthinking. Marami kang iniisip. About the world, usually. Usually, pera. 
usually popularity, fame. Kung overthinking ka, you begin to worry. When you begin to worry, pati tulog mo apektado na. You know, you're overthinking. That's one symptom that you're not living a peaceful life. This is a healing Eucharist. Hingin natin kay Lord sa misang ito. Lord, give us the grace to trust you more. Kasi when you begin to be overthinking, because you want to have everything, prepare everything, naninigurado ka sa lahat eh. Security. But if you trust God, it's okay. This is not the biggest deal. You get sick, you get deprived, you get to be unnoticed. That's all right. Hindi yan importante. So let's pray for that grace, Lord. The grace to trust you more. Kasi kung habang ang mundo, yung mundo mo, yung what's happening around, Siyempre, mga takot, mga kung ano-ano dyan, depressions. Well, you have to trust God more. I pray for that grace for all of us. Second symptom na hindi peaceful ang buhay mo. Wala yung Holy Spirit siguro kasi ibang spirit ang iisip mo. Yung ang dami kang bagahe dito sa puso mo. Mayroon ka mga galit, uh, Unforgiveness, hindi ka makapagpatawad, revenge, you begin to be, yung masyado kang matampuhin, hurts. You know, normal lang naman po yun, pero kung yan ang, yan ang inaatupag mo, ang bigat ng buhay mo, you are over hurting. Over hurting ka. Don't go through life hurting or hurting, you are hurting inside and you're hurting people. Sayang, it's not a peaceful life. It's not a joyful life. So what do we pray for? The grace to forgive. Magpatawad na tayo at magkumingi rin tayo ng patawad. Sige na, okay na. Para magana. Pag nag-forgive ka, ang gaan eh. You're free. Bahala na sila kung ano pang guwan na. Basta, you're at peace. And you are happy. Third. Symptom. Na parang hindi ka peaceful, hindi ka masaya. Yung, yung kasi yung guwan ka, marami kang pinapatulan. Marami kang kinakalaban. Marami kang issue na, you know, sinasabakan mo lahat. Yung, you just want to pick up fights. And kung gano'n ang buhay mo, wow. So, ano yung hingi natin grace from the Lord? Lord, just give me lang the grace to be humble. Okay na yan. Sige, kung yan ang gusto nila, okay na. In other words, you have the Holy Spirit. Instead of overthinking, you trust in God with the power of the Holy Spirit. Instead of overhurting, forgive ka na. And by the power of the Holy Spirit. And instead of overfighting, Nobody wins. Mga debate na kung ano-ano. Uh, is that so important? That, that you are right? That, that you are better than them? That you are holier than them? Hindi na pinag-uusapan if you have the spirit of humility in the Holy Spirit. Yung pong hindi natin kay Lord. Lord, give us the grace to overcome our overthinking with the grace of trusting in you, to overcome our overhurting with the grace to forgive and help us to overcome our overfighting with the grace of humility. 
Life is short. What are you doing the rest of your life? It's your choice. It's really your choice. And if you choose to be healed, that is also possible. God will more than be happy to give you the grace to live a more peaceful and a more joyful life. Like Mama Mary. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Oops, June na. So, misilip na yung kaibigan natin si Joe Marichan. Please look forward with joy, with hope. Yan naman ang basis ng Christian Christianity. Keep talking about hope, about joy, please. And that's the only thing that we can do, especially during this time. Kailangan, kailangan ng mga tao to hear the good news. May we all become missionaries of the good news. Gifted to give. So now, we bow our heads and just let the Lord bless you. Let Mama Mary embrace you. And decide, make a decision from now on. To stop overthinking. To stop overhurting. And to stop overfighting that you and I can be truly instruments of trust, instruments of forgiveness, and instruments of humility. May we honor Mama Mary and pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother God, pray for us sinners. Now the hour of our death. And for our departed relatives and friends, eternal rest grant unto them, Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon them. And may they rest in peace. Amen. Now we turn to the Lord for the prayers of the faithful. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Inspire all those who lead and serve in this church. May they know your guidance and direct the pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide all those who are called to lead and advocate in the world. May they carry love with them always. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Come embrace those in pain and physical suffering. May they feel you close to them. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Strengthen and encourage all those who seek to serve and protect the vulnerable, we pray. Lord, Lord we are there. For those who have lost love once recently, comfort them in their grief and heal the brokenhearted, we pray. Lord, we are there. Lord, these are our prayers, which we offer to the intercession of the Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And amen. So we humbly, gladly offer our gifts to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made, who become Lord our Bread of life. Blessed be God blessed forever. God. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness. We have this wine to offer for the divine and work of humans. 
will become Lord our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Receive us, Lord, be pleased with this sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite hearts. O oh Lord, wash away all our iniquities and cleanse us. All our sins. Pray with your friends that these are a sacrifice at Thanksgiving. May be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, these gifts we offer you on this feast of St. Justin. That these, that we who celebrate worthily these mysteries may be strenu strenuously defended may be defended by St. Justin through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Father, loving and eternal God, you are glorified when your saints are praised for their very sufferings. And in your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ the Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, Wherever you're going to, welcome the Lord with blessing and healing each and every one of us in this Eucharist. O oh Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness, that your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, but that he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. But this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life giving bread and this saving cup. Thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. And may all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Onestor Bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, missionaries, and religious all over the world. Remember to Lord our departed relatives and friends. 
pray for all victims of COVID-19, especially frontliners, health workers, essential workers who risked and sacrificed their lives so that others may live. Bring them and all the departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the apostles and martyrs, Saint Justin, and all who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We have peace and we have joy if we know how to surrender to God who is great, greater than, than you and I. They will be done. We surrender everything, everyone now, to God, our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil, grant us peace, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So I wish you all, I'm sure the Lord wants you all, all of us, to live more peaceful and more joyful lives. Peace be with you. Joy be with you. Saranghe kamsahamida. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Bow your heads. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through this moment, the Lord Jesus is with you, loving you, blessing you, and healing you. We take this time to come to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for our faith. Thank you for the promise of eternal life. Sorry, Lord, for all our sins. When we set you aside and we make ourselves the center of our lives. Forgive us for our selfishness and pride and we hurt other people. Tawad po sa aming kayabangan, kasinungalingan, katapangan, kasungitan. Patawad po God. And Lord, please help us stay with us. We need you and we love you. Stay with us, Lord. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. An act of spiritual communion by Jesus. 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. So thank you, everyone. And uh, this Friday, 10 o'clock, we have a online First Friday Mass. Okay. Take care, everybody, and stay safe and stay afloat. Stay afloat. Don't let the negativities come and sink you. You know why you have to stay afloat? That you can help others stay afloat as well. Amen. By the way, Fair, Fair. Yes, Father. Kung nagtitimpla ka ng kape, what? What do you use, your left hand or your right hand? My right hand, po. Oh, yeah? Ako, kung nagtitimpla ako, I use a tablespoon. Okay. <laughs> anyway, please don't forget humor. Humor. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Eleventh commandment, don't take yourself too seriously. Okay, there is a God Amen. greater than you and I, and there is a God who can help us to live on. Let us pray. Father, mm. before you give your blessing, can you lead us to a healing prayer also for prayer. all of those who are sick? Thank yes, you, Father. Yes, we can uh, invoke God's blessing. Just bow your head. Kapatid natin, may karamdaman. Please never forget the Lord is with you in whatever you're going to. Pakinggan mo din ang pangako niya. Hindi kita pababayan. Kasama niyo ako palagi. I am with you always. And whatever suffering offering, ialay natin. Paghihirap, sakit, Kalungkutan, this can all be offered to the Lord. May mga kapatid tayong may pinagdadaanan emotional, may mga bibigat, nawawalan ng pag-asa. Come Holy Spirit, reset our mindset and enkindle in us again fire of your love. And those who are in spiritual darkness of sin, spiritual healing, at yung mga masasamang ugali. And for whatever unforgiveness in our hearts. At sana po Lord, heal us, our relationships. Help us. Heal us of our overthinking with your with trust in you. Heal us from our over hurting with the grace of forgiveness. And heal us from our over fighting with the grace of your humility. Refresh, O oh God, with this heavenly food. Help us to be attentive to the teachings of St. Justin the Martyr and may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kapit, ang kapit natin lahat, ang bendisyon ng ating Panginoon, ang ala ng Ama, ng Anak, ang Spirito Santo. Amen. Join peace. God bless you and... Mama Mary loves you. Amen. Thank you so much, Father Jerry. So happy that you are here with us once again next month, once more, first, th first Tuesday. <laughs>
Father okay. Jerry Orban with us. Father ha, date natin yun. <laughs> Next month. Thank you so much. Stay healthy, Father. Thank you so much from your healing Eucharist. Okay. Salamat, Father. Salamat, Father. Yes, uh, when we want to...